the tie. Augusta Westland T129 ATAK is a twin engine, tandem seat, multi role, all weather attack helicopter based on the Augusta A129 Mangusta platform. The T129 was developed by Turkish Aerospace Industries tie with partner Augusta Westland. The helicopter is designed for advanced attack and reconnaissance missions in hot and high environments and rough geography in both day and night conditions. The ATAK program was begun to meet the Turkish Armed Forces requirements for an attack and tactical reconnaissance helicopter. The T-129 is the result of the integration of Turkish-developed high-tech avionics airframe modifications and weapon systems onto the combat-proven Augusta Westland A-129 airframe. With upgraded engines, transmission and rotor blades, it is in use by the Turkish Army and is being offered to other services. The ATAK program was begun to meet the Turkish Armed Forces requirements for an attack and tactical reconnaissance helicopter. Turkey announced on 30 March 2007 that it had decided to negotiate with Augusta Westland to co-develop and produce 51 with 40 options attack helicopters based on the Augusta A129 Mangusta. It is to be assembled in Turkey by Turkish Aerospace Industries TIE as the T-129. On 7 September 2007, a $1.2 billion contract was signed. On the 22nd of June 2008, the agreement between TUSAS Aerospace Industries TIE and Augusta Westland formally entered into force. Under the agreement, TIE will develop an indigenous mission computer, avionics, weapon systems, self-protection suites and the helmet mounting queuing systems. TUSA's engine industries, TIE will manufacture the LHTECCTS 804N engines under license. Under the agreement, Turkey has full marketing and intellectual property rights for the T129 platform. Turkey can export also the platform to third-party nations, excluding Italy and the United Kingdom. However, the T129's LHTECCTS 804N gives the United States a veto over any prospective export sales. The T129 was optimized for hot and high conditions. It has several key improvements over the original A129 in line with the requirements of the Turkish Army. The T129 will carry 12 rockets and developed UMTAS anti-tank missiles, Turkish indigenous development similar to Hellfire 2. The T129 features a 20mm Gatling-style cannon in a nose turret. It can carry a combination of 70mm rocket pods, Stinger air-air missile pods, and gun pods on its stub-wing pylons. On the 16th of July 2007, the Scientific and Technological Research Council of Turkey TUBITAK, Matex and Savan Masana EES and Bilkent University formed a consortium to develop an advanced millimeter wave radar MILDAR. Similar to the Longbow and the IAI Elta radars, intended to enter service in 2009. MILDAR was successfully completed in February 2012. In 2007, it was reported that one helicopter will be kept by the Turkish Ministry of Defense and used as a test bed for systems development. The remaining 50 helicopters will be delivered to the Turkish Army. An optional 40 further T-129 helicopters will be produced if necessary. These 50 T-129s are to be designated T-129B in November 2010. Turkey ordered an additional 9 T-129 helicopters to increase its total order to 60. These T-129s were for an urgent Turkish Army operational requirement and was built by Thai for delivery in 2012. One year prior to the delivery of the previously ordered 51 helicopters, these T-129s are designated T-129A, lacking advanced anti-tank missiles. As a result of delays, the T-129 has entered service in 2014. 
In February 2019, Defense Industries SSB signed a contract with Turkish Aerospace TUSIS to develop a heavy class attack helicopter based on ATAK. The new helicopter is to be named ATAK-2. On the 28th of September 2009, the T-129's maiden flight took place when P-1 prototype flew at Augusta Westlands facilities in Virginia, Italy. On the 19th of March 2010, the first T-129 prototype, P-1, conducted high-altitude hover tests near Verbania, Italy following the completion of several successful test flights. During the hover test, T-129 P-1 lost its tail rotor at 15,000 feet. Test pilot Cassioli regained enough control to steer away from residential area before crashing. The crew escaped without serious injuries. On 17 August 2011, TIA announced the first successful flight of the T-129 prototype, P-6, the first of three prototypes to be assembled in Turkey. In 2013, media reports claimed that the first batch of helicopters delivered to Turkish Army for trials did not meet the requirements of the contract, specifically in terms of vibration, balance, weight. The T-129 was nose-heavy. To resolve this, 137 kilograms was added to the tail, causing the total weight to exceed the specified requirement. The higher weight may decrease the T-129 service ceiling which is detrimental for operating under hot and high conditions, like those found in southeastern Anatolia. The Undersecretariat for Defense Industries will adjust the contract in accordance. Experts expect weight reductions as development continues. In August 2015, TIE formally delivered the batch of the first nine T-129 ATAK helicopters to the Turkish Land Forces after completing qualification testing. HAVE LSA and developed a simulator system for the T-129 and presented at the International Defense Industry Fair IDEF 2017. ATAK-2 made its first flight on the 13th of November 2019. Laser warning receiver LWR and electronic warfare suites are available in this configuration. It is planned to be delivered in mid-2020 after the tests to be held. In May 2014, the Turkish Army formally inducted the first 9 T-129s into service. These initial rotorcraft were to a less advanced interim EDH model variant, intended to replace some of the aging ones in use prior to the introduction of the more capable T-129B variant to service. On the 25th of April 2015, a pair of T-129s were used in combat for the first time in a counter-terrorism operation in the Turkish province of Syed. Delivery of the final ADH standard T-129s took place on the 31st of July 2015. On the 10th of February 2018, during the Turkish military operation in Afrin, a T-129 of the Turkish army was shot down by Kurdish YPG anti-aircraft fire in Kirikan district of Hatti province. It was later confirmed by the Turkish armed forces and President Erdogan. According to 2009 news reports Azerbaijan, Bahrain, Jordan, Malaysia, Poland, the Gambia and the United Arab Emirates have shown interest in the T-129. In 2011, Saudi Arabia asked Turkey to enter a tender to produce attack helicopters for the Saudi Air Force. In July 2012, it was reported that the Philippines received an offer from Italy for Augusta Westland attack helicopters, either A129 or T129. In November 2017, it was reported that the Philippines was interested in ordering 23 attack helicopters, such as the T129 or others. On the 29th of November 2018, Chief of Public Affairs Arsenio Andalong of the Philippines Department of National Defense told Jane's Defense Industry that the T-129 was recommended for the Philippine Air Force. 
On the 18th of December 2018, Philippines and Turkey signed a Memorandum of Understanding MO with Thai for new T-129s for the PAF. In December 2018, it was reported that the Philippines plans to order six T-129 helicopters. No order had been placed as of July 2019. In January 2013, a media report stated that South Korea's attack helicopter competition included the T-129 in the final three bidders with the Bell AH-1C Viper and the Boeing A-64 Apache. However, the AH-64E Apache was chosen in April 2013. Media reports in February 2013 indicated Azerbaijan had ordered 60 T-129 helicopters but it was later denied by Thai. In 2017, Pakistan and Turkey were in the final stages of an agreement to buy 30 helicopters, according to news reports. As part of this process, three T-129s of Turkish land forces took part in the Pakistan Day Parade on the 23rd of March 2018. On the 25th of May 2018, it was reported that Pakistan signed an agreement with Turkey to procure 30 T-129s. As of December 2018, the manufacturer has failed to obtain the necessary export permit from Honeywell for the T-129 with the LHTE CT 804A engine. And the manufacturer is now seeking a replacement engine to enable Turkey to complete the transaction. Thai hopes to launch talks for the sale of the T-129 to the Libyan National Army and Polish Land Forces. In June 2018, a high-ranking military delegation from Morocco visited Ankara to meet TAI's representatives about possible procurement of T-129s. In September 2018, Brazil showed interest in acquiring T-129 with army officials visiting Turkey. On 26 March 2019, TUSAS awarded 10 Brazilian Army pilots with Certificate of Achievement for their test flight with T-129 in Forte Ricardo Kirk Talbate. T-129AEDH Arkin Duhul Helicopter or Early Delivery Helicopter T-129A is the combat support version equipped with a 20mm Gatling gun and rounds and can carry 70mm 2.75 in rockets. 9 T-129s have been ordered. Six helicopters have been delivered to the Turkish Army. The T-129 is are to be upgraded to the T-129B standard. T-129B T-129B is the multi-role version equipped with the leading edge electronic warfare systems. 51 helicopters are to be produced with one to be used as a weapons test bed. The T-129B is armed with a 20mm Gatling gun and can carry a payload of 8 UMTAS, 12 rockets and CIRIT, and 2 AM-92 Stinger missiles.